you for being with us. What do you think that the situation right now in Gaza is going to be like after, uh, you know, with this aerial bombardment and with this military incursion, knowing that the Gaza Strip is already desperately on the verge of uh, a humanitarian uh, catastrophe? Well, you know, after uh, last night's bombardment, uh, we are expecting, unfortunately, again, the tensions uh, will rise. So, uh, as a humanitarian actor who is uh, working here since 2008, uh, our main focus uh, is the people right now, uh, the, the ones that are displayed in Gaza. And uh, hopefully, uh, with our, uh, within our response teams, working on the field right now, uh, we'll uh, try to provide their basic needs, such as nutrition and hygiene, as a start. What about uh, water, clean, drinkable water, and also food, and uh, food for the children, who are the most, so, uh, you know, the, the ones that suffers the most of this uh, kind of uh, aggression? Well, ac according to our main response plan, uh, basic needs are included, uh, that covers water and uh, other uh, stuff that uh, you just mentioned. So additionally, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, we are also providing medical assistance in Gaza uh, f for the ones that are uh, damaged heavily and severely. Are you, do you have a plan already in order that you are putting together? Are you communicating with people on the ground in Gaza to see what their most needed uh, items uh, that they're looking for? What is it? How do you communicate with them and how do you assess uh, the most important uh, and the most necessary, necessary items that they desperately need? Well, right now, uh, due to the tensions, uh, the, borders, the border is already closed. Uh, so uh, our communication uh, with the ones, uh, uh, including our emergency team, is online. Uh, so uh, what we are focusing on right now is uh, the, our main partner in the region, uh, who is uh, Palestine Red Crescent. Uh, we are receiving all the feedback from them, as well as the uh, Ministry of Health uh, in Gaza. And what do you expect that to have a plan uh, of action anytime soon uh, if this uh, military campaign ends and you are able to travel to Gaza and able to communicate and get items and hum humanitarian aid and medicine and so forth there? Are you working on, 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 a, on a plan of action that can be implemented as soon as this uh, uh, military campaign is over? Well, uh, we have just completed our plan of action yesterday, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, our emergency relief team in Gaza now responding and making the necessary procurements uh, inside of the local market. And, uh, additionally, uh, they'll keep uh, doing this, but uh, right now uh, the main issue is that uh, the tensions uh, should de-escalate uh, in order to uh, move, in order to give them the ability to move inside Gaza. Thank you so much. Mobilizing and moving humanitarian aid that the Gaza Strip is desperately needing is one of the top priorities for the Turkish Red Crescent and hopefully for many other uh, humanitarian organizations around the world. But this is exactly what Gaza needs right now, despite the fact that the military campaign is still uh, it's still uh, taking place and hundreds of airstrikes are being uh, conducted by the Israeli Air Force as we speak. But many civilians are paying the ultimate price.